All right, so we are going to be looking at Team Talk for today because where I stopped reading yesterday was where Brian first become awakened. And it talked about the horribleness of all the insect bites. And so that's kind of where I stopped. You know, our end in mind all week has been, I will be able to identify character traits by drawing conclusions um, from information in the story. And so one of the things that we talked about yesterday was how Brian, um, even through the misery of that, he was very observant as to what was going on around him as far as the sounds and the colors and things like that. And you wouldn't really think in the big scheme of things that that would even be important. But however, it is extremely important um, as we will find out as our story develops a little bit further. But for, day, for today, you have your simple solutions that needs to be done and uploaded, of course. You will have your um, Quizlet that needs to be done as well. But you're also going to be answering the four Team Talk questions that are part of an attachment um, for today. Tomorrow is test day, and I want you to keep that in mind. Tomorrow will be Friday. Um, I don't have the date in front of me. Um, but one of the things that I would greatly appreciate is that you, if you will do the test tomorrow and not wait till the weekend, and I'll tell you why. If it's assigned on Friday, if you will work on it and submit it on Friday, then I can score it on Friday. And we can come into Monday with a whole new end in mind and a whole new mindset of the things that we need to cover. Um, I will not touch them on the weekend. I don't think it's fair um, to do that. And I don't think it's fair of you um, to wait and to do it that way because then that leaves me being behind starting the new week. I mean, I'm already changing my mindset. I'm flipping over to get new end in minds going. Um, and it's just being thoughtful and considerate. Um, if it's, it's gonna be assigned first thing in the morning, you have all day to tap into it and get it answered. If you were at school, you would have to do it on Friday. So that's kind of what I'm hoping that you will do. Enough with that. All right, so let's break down questions. First question says, what does Brian do to drink the cleanest water? I want you to tell me what Brian does to drink the cleanest water. So what are the things that he puts himself through to get that, okay? What happens to Brian after he drinks a large amount of lake water? So here again, I want you to tell, it's a right there kind of answer. It's textual. There's no real thought process involved. You just have to find it and cite me evidence. So tell what happens um, with Brian after he drinks a large amount of lake water, okay? Three, Brian thinks about searches he has seen on the news. What does that tell you about him? So there, that's part of that end in mind again. We are drawing conclusions about Brian based on what we're reading. So the first part of breaking down questions is really thinking about what is the question and or where is the question located? So the first part is just a statement. Brian thinks about searches he has seen on the news. It's a statement. The next piece is the actual question. So I want you to explain, and I'm gonna change colors. I want you to explain what this, we're gonna change that, tells me about him. So I want to think about the phrase above that question. And I'm gonna pose my answer based on that phrase. All right. And then our very last question is a multiple choice. Okay. Which of the following is the best definition for amphibious? 
So I'm going to choose one. It's not asking for two or three or all that apply. So since it's asking just which of the following, we know it's going to be just one answer. So which of the following is the best definition for amphibious? Okay. What I want you to look at though is here at the bottom, this right here, where it says explain your answer. On the test or on a test, this type of question is a 30 point answer. You get 10 points for choosing the correct multiple choice. But if it says explain your answer, that part is worth 20. So you really need to think about that. In a learning at school setting, we would star that, we would really discuss what that means. So keep in mind that if it is a multiple choice and it stands alone, it's on the test, it's always 10. But you have to be super, super, super careful and read those questions because if it says explain your answer, that itself is an additional 20. So keep that in mind. So your reading for today is going to be pages 41 through 45. And sticky note as you go, um, because tomorrow's test is going to cover, your evidence is going to cover around 50 pages. So if you've been sticky noting as we've been going, you should be in good shape as far as time to get through the test. Because we know that the test is always, um, roughly two or three questions are from old Team Talk questions. So if you've looked back at your um I've lost my total train of thought. Um, if you can go back and make sure that you've got everything sticky noted. when And if you've gone back and looked at your answers you've submitted, if I've added comments, I would have hoped that at this point you would have gone back and changed your answers in your journals um, so that you would have the correct responses um, so that you know how you missed it. Um, and had that fixed. All of your answers should go into your journals before you upload them. And I think that's something I've been a little weak on discussing every day, the importance of putting them in your journal before you type them up. I know a couple of times I have asked you to do that. Um, starting with week two, that's the norm. Because when we get back to an in-school setting, I'm wanting to look at your journals and so that I can see the progression of how well your answers have developed over time. So this week is just, is a kind of a learning curve for all of us. And if you didn't do that every day, it's no big deal. However, next week, starting on Monday, week two, day one, gonna be looking for those, okay? So we need that practice of getting them in the journal and taking the words from the journal and typing them onto the Google Classroom. And that is practice on handwriting as well as typing skills. And it allows me then to see that progression. So today read pages 41 through 45, sticky note as you go, answer all four questions and I'll be honest, you would be very wise to do those today so I have time to score them, to get new um, comments on your answers before the test tomorrow. All right, guys. See you later.